Oak and I went to Tractor Supply and bought every single deer attractant on the shelf to see which one the deer like the best. I didn't want to do salt ones, so I'm only doing straight up ones that say deer attractant. A couple of them are apples, so I went to Walmart and decided why not try some real apples. And while I was there, I got a bag of carrots. I've heard that people use those for deer bait other places in the country, so... What we're gonna do is this is too much to put all out in one spot, so we're gonna do it tournament style. We're gonna do these four in one location, these four in one location, leave them out for one week. And then we'll take the top two from each heat and enter them in the championship round and see what the ultimate deer feed is. All right, this is the first one. Big and J apple granular. Super strong ammonia, range is super long. Next is cotton candy featuring cotton seed for high protein, fat, and fiber. Look at that. Smells weird. I don't think I'm gonna taste that one. <laughs> there's lots of different stuff in this one though. Cotton, corn, sunflowers. Looks like there's some kind of pea in there or something. And we got sugar beets crushed. Now this is, a lot of people plant food plots with this for deer. What's this smell like? It smells like just regular like chicken feed or something. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. It's like bright red. That's actually like, that almost tastes like human food. Tastes like if you had like flour with some sugar mixed in it, something like that. Tastes like, it's pretty sweet probably as far as deer feed goes. Main ingredient is ground up sugar beet. And then we got Booner Blend. Protein pellets, corn, wheat, roasted soybeans, black oil, sunflower seeds. So this is kind of like the cotton candy, but it has molasses in it, which is another sweet thing. Yeah, that's, it smells like horse grain or goat feed, something like that. And we got some apples. Let's put a pile of these out and our one bag of carrots. All right, there we go. We got all our bait out. Trail camera over on that tree. I don't think it'll take the deer long to find that. There's really a good chance that a bear comes and eats all of it right in one shot. So let's hope that doesn't happen. This is the first one for location two. Lee and Tiffany Lakoski Signature Series Wild Berry. Antler development, heart rate, blah, blah. And this is, I wonder if this is like actually blackberries or something. Let's see. Ingredients, grain, propionic acid, sodium carbonate, calcium oxide. This is definitely the one with the most ingredients. Dried baculus subtilis fermentation product. I have no idea what that is. Smells sweet, corn, some kind of grain in there probably. It's a little bit sweet. Then we got, this is, this is the one I'm really hoping for. Apple crushed, ripe apple deer attractant. Real apples, real results. Dehydrated apple, molasses, calcium, red 40. That's funny, so they dye it to be red. This is gonna be bright red. That's probably more for us hunters than the deer. Oh wow. Smells like, you know on Halloween those like, they're like brown and green, green apple. They almost pull your like teeth right out of your head. They're like popsicles. That's exactly what this smells like. You could almost eat this. You put some milk in there or something, it'd be like almost like cereal or something. It's, it's pretty sweet. Raccoons are gonna love this one for sure. Buck bourbon. This is a bigger bag. This is eight pounds. Grain, salt, corn, zinc, mineral oil, bunch of other crap. Not for human consumption. Does not contain alcohol. Oh, it's a pack-in pouch. You can carry it. Hmm, that's, that's creative. I like it. That is true. It's the only one with handles on it, so you could carry it in. That's a, that's kind of a big plus. That's a different looking one. Look at that one. It's almost like flax or something. I wouldn't be hops. I don't know. If you know what the heck that is, let me know. Let's try it. Mm. Whoa. Whew. That's got a lot of flavor. It's like salty kind of grain. I don't know what how to explain that, but that packs a punch. This is apple flavored deer corn. Now with corn, you get a lot more bang for your buck. I mean, it's a 40 pound bag compared to just five pounds. How would they flavor this with apples? I don't know, put apple juice on it? Does it even taste like apples? 
to me tastes like regular corn i'm very biased against deer corn people i mean if you're gonna buy corn why not just buy like feed corn it's cheaper if it doesn't have a picture of a deer on it but hey we'll test it out maybe there's something special to it all right this is location number two trail cameras right there or right there let me know if you guys have a favorite or which one you guys think will win and we will be back here in one week it's been a week and jumped on the mock wheel figured we can sneak up in here in the woods and see what's going on oh my gosh check that out there's nothing left but carrots there's the trail camera and all of our stuff was set right in here you can see where the ground's torn up there's a little piece of corn right here some deer tracks and look the only thing left is carrots you can tell where something was chewing on them we'll check the camera card and see which one was gone first and what order they ate them in the first deer to come in were these two bucks the one looks like he's gonna be pretty big this fall but the smaller buck went right to the big and J at first and he ate on that for a long time and finally he left but he came back like 10 minutes later and tried a little bit of the cotton candy but both of them ended up going back to the big and J and they ate on that for quite a while. And the big buck, he went up and tested the sugar beets, but he ended up settling for the Booner blend. And then the little buck tasted the Booner blend. And then a doe came and she also went to the Big and J first before the bucks kicked her out and went back to the Booner blend. But after they left, she came back and ate a bunch of the Big and J. Then the buck came back to eat some Booner Blunt and this raccoon came in and was kind of trying to get in there and he ended up liking the cotton candy. But him and the deer did not like each other the most and he even tried kicking the buck out. And the next day we had some trespassers come through, big buck and little buck came in and kind of finished off the sugar beets and cotton candy because they hadn't been eaten yet. And really that's as long as this stuff lasted, only a day or two. What's awesome about this bike is you don't got to pedal. You can just hit this throttle and it just gives you the jukes. I'm talking pretty loud right now, but I can cruise through the woods with this thing and nothing hears me. It's not loud like a four wheeler, or like a ranger. And so far it's done, whoa. Pretty dang good, really. Right here is where our other camera was, and let's see what's left here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Check this out. Right here is where we had all of them. You can see there was one there, one there, one there, something there, and look what's left. Carrots, again. Pennsylvania deer do not like carrots. Let's see what's on this SD card. This doe came in that evening and really gave everything the sniff test. She was not sure what was going on. So she got a really good smell of all of them. And the first one she ended up going to was this Buck Bourbon. She tested that one out, the other, another doe came in. And I think this coon scared him off. And he came in and went for some of that buck bourbon before he went over to the apples and I think he ate literally all of the apples. But the two deer came in and if you'll notice, I think I missed some video of, of the deer when they were on the left side of the trail camera because most of the crushed berry is gone and most of the apple crush is gone. And then this skunk came in and then a red fox came in even while the doe was bedded in the back. But she came back and ate the rest of the apple that was left and then this red fox actually came in and ate some of the corn and then we had a woodchuck the next morning and you'll never believe it but we had a possum a skunk and a raccoon all come in at one time and eat on this stuff i've never had all three of those in a picture and there's actually another raccoon that comes in at the same time and this porker sat right in the corn and just shoveled it down and by that time most everything was gone all right this is the championship round we're gonna do exactly what we did last time and see which one they like big and jay 
Cross Wild Berry, Apple Crush. Dude, and this Booner Blend. Whoa. We'll see what hits them first. So of course we got rain on the camera lens, but the first doe that came in went right for the Big and J, and she ate on it for quite a while. Then our buck friend came in, and his tines have grown quite a bit in just a week or so if it's the same one, and he went to the Big and J as well. And then two more does come in with him, and they eat on the Booner blend. And the deer kind of milled around for a while, and they tried the other ones, but ended up going and eating on the Booner blend in Big and J. And once the Big and J was gone, they really ate the Booner Blend. And I think it's safe to say that the Booner Blend and the Big and J were the most popular with the deer. They ate those first both times. If you want to see this same test but with deer salt, watch this video right here.